Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making a quick, easy, simple chicken hearty soup from start to finish, okay? So I have here some cilantro, onion. I have, um, and here it is cilantro with bell pepper and garlic. Here is just onion. And I have some carrots and jalapeno here. I have one can of spinach. We're gonna be using some black pepper, some garlic powder, salt, chicken noir, and some garlic pepper. Here I have my chicken thighs, about four in here. I'm going to be using a variety of noodles, some shells, some elbow noodles, and some short pasta salad noodles. And then I'm also gonna be making some um, Texas toast to have on the side. <clears throat> now, you can use whatever noodle you like in your soup, um, because some people like the um, spaghetti noodle, the um, egg noodle, whichever noodle you like, whichever part of the piece of meat you like, use it. Some people like the um, chicken breast. Me, I like the thighs because it's more, more juicier. And same with the vegetables, people. Some people prefer carrots, leeks, and all that good stuff. So whichever way you like your soup, do it, okay? All right, so and add seasoning to your liking. All right, let's get started. Okay, and I want to say this. I'm going to be making a um, chicken uh, stock um chicken broth or however you want to call it out of my chicken bones and the fat and all of that i do have um chicken um broth on hand but i don't want to use it because i want to use fresh ingredients and i want it to be hearty and healthy okay all right Okay, so now I'm going to be adding my seasonings. Now make sure you season your soup to your liking, people, okay? This is where your flavor is going to come in. And remember, you can um, add, but you cannot take away, okay? So add a little and taste. Okay, so I'm just going to add some of that. And now my other thing I want to say, you guys... Now, I know some people make their chicken soup and they add all of their um, vegetables and all that good stuff. Me, I really don't like to do that because when I'm going to skim my pot, I don't want to take all my onions and bell pepper and garlic, all that good stuff. Uh-uh, honey, we pay for that, honey. No, 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 no. So, I don't want to do that. Mm-mm. Okay, so I'll be back when this is done so we can debone it and go to the next step okay y'all so my chicken has been boiling for like 57 minutes so it's done so I have um let me show you guys it is done it is there okay Woo. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna take my chicken out and I'm going to let it cool so I can debone it. Okay, so my chicken is cooling off. So, now I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, I love a lot of broth in my soup. So, I'm going to pour in two cups of water. Okay, and then I'm just going to re-season it. And, yep. So, if you don't want to do this step, you don't have to. But I just love a lot of broth. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to take a few minutes while my water is boiling for my noodles. Okay. So, I just wanted to say this real quick. Y'all, make sure y'all check out my video on how to make my famous cucumber lemon iced tea. Okay. But anywho. <laughs> okay. So, um, for your soup. Now, I like to boil my noodles separate than putting them straight in my broth because when I freeze my soup, I don't like to unthaw um, to, for my noodles to be in it because the noodles kind of swell and I don't like it. <clears throat> so, that's the reason why I'm boiling my noodles separate from just dropping it straight in the broth. 
So here's my chicken. It's all deboned. And yes, there are bones in my um, soup. And I mean, going to be in there because I like to, you know, chew on the bones. <laughs> and some people like fat. The skin, not the fat. I'm sorry, the skin. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. So um, you can definitely put um, your noodles all in one pot. You could do it that way if you're having an event. I do it like that. But in this purpose, I'm not going to do it like that because I'm going to freeze this soup. So I'm only just going to cook a small amount of noodles. So then maybe the next day, if I just want to put the noodles inside of the soup, then I can do it. Okay? So I hope it all makes sense to you guys. Okay? So we'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to add one cup of my elbow noodles. Okay. Should have added a little less of the other one. And then I'll just add a little less of the salad noodles, okay? All right, so once it all come together, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so everything is ready. So my broth is um, still boiling. So I have my um, pieces of chicken. I have my chicken bones in here, carrots, and my little jalapenos in here, and the spinach. I'm not going to drop my spinach in here because some people don't like spinach. So I'm just going to put some in my bowl. So here's my bowl. So I'm just put some, and then I'm going to assemble my bowl, and I'll be back. All right, everyone, here is my soup. <laughs> so I'm trying not to drop the camera, but my noodles are in there and everything. Thank you. <laughs> so here's my soup. I hope you guys give it a try. Um, it's really simple. It's really easy. I just like to make the broth to the soup, and then I like to add everything in. So if you don't want to use chicken, you can... Um, use any type of meat you want um neck bones you can use um whatever you like <laughs> you can use oxtails and make the broth you can pig feet whatever honey whatever you like do it <laughs> all right thanks for watching